Welcome back to NB Edits, folks. Nick and I are out here in the new boat, hucking and pucking out here, out on the bay. It is going to be an absolute glorious day. That was first cast for me. Cameras aren't even rolling. We just came about five miles all the way up to this spot. Might as well get a measurement on that bad boy, just see what yeah, we're running. It's gonna be close. Let me go ahead of here, grab the old bump board. And it's gotta be 15. I think it's gonna be close, but maybe not quite. Just over 14 and a half, not quite. That's very typical for this lake, but beautiful little fish. Woo, we're gonna go ahead, get a release on the first one of the day not bad first cast pull up to the new spot in the brand new boat things are looking good like I said we traveled about five miles to get up here we are out here with Nick's dad and Nick's dad's buddy he's uh, fishing with us so we're gonna go ahead get a minnow back on what another line see if we can get a couple more all right hooked up again this one's dogging a little bit better might be keeper size Oh yeah. yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Gonna grab the net on that one. There we go. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. This, this beats the John boat. This also beats the kayaks. We've got some very nice kayaks. We've got some old school John boats that we're so used to. Man, am I ripping. glad we did this project. Huh? Yes, we've been working on this boat all winter. We've been kind of showing you guys a little bit of the process. We've put up some photos on Instagram. There we go. And we got ourselves a decent little walleye. So, it's got a little gouge in the side of them, but nice little fish right there. Beautiful colors to them. Awesome fishing up here in central Wisconsin. Uh, we've been fishing in De Pere a lot, so nice to see. This one came up and munched on it. Let's go ahead and get a quick measurement. It's got to be 15 to keep here. Definitely 15. Yeah, sure. definitely 15. Definitely uh, put them on the bump. 18 and a half, 18 by 18 and a half. Okay, that's a nice one. We're going to go ahead and get this one on the stringer. We're going to be keeping some of these today, so we'll fillet them up later, but let's see uh, see if we can get some more of this size. Oh, hey, hey, finally boy. Up. Nick's right. joining the squad. We tried switching spots for a little bit. Yeah. I'm... Didn't have much for luck. I was gonna boat. Ooh. Okay. Risky. Risky. Feeling risky. Yeah, so we moved spots actually up towards the dam. Didn't get anything for like half an hour. A lot of current. Came back to the first spot that we came to. And first cast, catch a walleye. So that's probably what we're gonna just stay in this area. Got my dad and his friend right behind us. And yeah, the fish are coming back in. So hopefully we can start getting them and hopefully we get some keepers. I don't know, that Brandon got that 18 and a half right away. That's gonna be close. I don't know, it might it? be close. I'm gonna that's... say 14 and three quarters. No, that's a 15 and three quarters. Oh, yeah. baby, look at that. There's another keeper. All right, well, speaking of keepers, there it is. 15 and a half. I'm just not used to seeing them this small, so it throws me off every time. But all well, right. When you fish to pier. <laughs> yeah, when you fish to pier, it really ruins everywhere else for you, especially <laughs> on the Wisconsin River. All right, Nick came to play. I came back. <laughs> Don't think it's very big, though. It's very hard to tell in the current, always. There you go. Don't think it's going to be quite 15 inches. But I said that about the last one, too. So I always just toss it on the bump board. You never know. Central Wisconsin is known for walleyes of this size. I mean, you could catch about 50 of these things all day. Keeps it nice and fun and exciting. Oh, 15 and a half. Same size as the first one Brandon caught. So, get her wheels. Oh my god. What the heck happened there? Almost Ooh. lost my freaking rod. <laughs> Nick's got two rods going right now. Yeah. One he's jigging with, and one he's basically just got kind of like a yeah, bottom bouncer set up. On the, with like just a normal circle hook on the end with the minnow kind of just dangling in the current. But yeah, nothing too crazy for the setup today. We're just using chartreuse color 3 8 ounce because there's a little bit of current. Uh, this is the eyeball jig from Northland Tackle. Tipping it with a fat head and just kind of bouncing it back. And you know, cat's an absolute giant. So I'm gonna get my middle back out here. We're gonna see if we can 
Get another keeper. Gonna be close to keeper size. Might be just under. Vertical jigging. Vertical jigging. It's working. We have found that the fish have pushed out. And he's gonna be just under. It's probably about 12 inches, maybe 13. We're gonna let that one go. So we've switched plans here. Uh, we thought maybe the color wasn't working. We weren't sure. We were casting. They were all tucked up into shore earlier today, and now we've noticed that the fish are hitting right next to the boat. And what we're doing is basically just vertical jigging right off the side of the boat. And uh, I've lost three or four by doing it. It's harder to get a hook set that way when you're just using a jig and minnow. But if you can hook into them, get them just right, they're literally right below our boat. So let's see if we can do that again. playing around with that one. That one came up and throttled me actually. Nothing big. Like I said numerous times, this is the average size. Give a, give a measurement on him. Ooh. It's close. close. Huh? 14, 14 and three, three quarters. quarters. Wow. Nice little male walleye. Get release on him. See you buddy. Crazy to think that that much away from the grease. I know. <laughs> It'll happen. Just gotta weed through them. There's no other way you can really do it up down here. Oh, that one's 14. Now it's three in a row though. 14, 14 and a half, 14 and three quarters. So yeah, you gotta go through like a ton. Sometimes, you know, the earlier it seems like you can hit this river, you're gonna get the bigger ones. But as you get water temp right now, I think it's 45 degrees. So you're gonna get a ton of those small males. And uh, the only positive to that is one, it's fun. And two, if there's males around, there has to be at least one female around. So that's kind of what we're hoping to get here. Still got a few hours of daylight and maybe we can get her. Oh, yeah. Look at that tank. Jesus. <laughs> He's a squirmy little guy. All right, so now they've switched up and they're not really vertical. They're right in this area right here. You can see the river current going this way. We're in about 13 to 14 feet of water. And we're hitting them right there. Absolutely cookie cutter. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a 13 and a half, 14 Yeah, 13 and a half to 14 and a half just seems to be the ticket. I don't know why that is. Well, here's the reason actually why. Because you can keep five. You can keep five of them on this body of water. And as long as they're over 15 inches, as soon as that fish gets to 15 inches in length, if it's caught, it's capped. That's just the way it is. And you can't really see a ton of them here. We've got a couple guys behind uh, Nick's dad, Dave, and Paul in the boat that They're are on down shore. There. Down here. You go way down there towards the dam. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That made me so nervous the amount of rolling <laughs> that fish just Wow, we did. just tried a new spot. We hey. pulled the anchor and just started drifting around these trees. Got ourselves a keeper. Uh, I think so. Probably. It's going to be, gonna be looks, close. Looks pretty close. Got him out of the net. Let's go ahead and get a measurement here. He's going to be close. Wow. Just over is. 15. 15 and an eighth. Not even 15 and a quarter, but that's another keeper. Whew, he's a squirmy little guy. All right, one last look at him here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the stringer. 15 and an eighth. Lucky. Just over that 15 mark. It's crazy how many cookie cutter size type fish there are because when you see a 13 and a half, 14 and a half, you just kind of know it's like, ah, that one's going to be just under. But that one, as it was on its way in, I was like, okay, might be a little bit better. And it was by like that much, but that's all it takes. So put that one on the stringer. And I think we're going to try a couple more casts here, but sun's going down. We've got about four miles all the way back. So we're going to probably have to wrap up this day, but that's good because this one is going to go good in the grease. Whew. Lordy guys, what a day. We had an awesome time out there. Ended up getting a couple keepers, as you can tell. 
we've got everything all laid out. So we ended up with three keepers. Like you said, not a bad day. Plenty of shorts, but um, it's always good when you come home with some fish to have a meal and uh, provide for the family, especially during times like this. So good old coronavirus doesn't help anything at the grocery stores. So when you put a couple guys together and get a meal like this, it's never a bad thing. So we're gonna go ahead and fillet these fish up. But we just wanted to say thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Maybe you learned a couple things as far as tactics and stuff like that. And if you guys have questions, of course, you guys can leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, we always enjoy talking with you guys and you know, coming up with plans and what we're going to do in future videos and maybe finding ways to help you guys out as you guys venture out onto the river, onto lakes. I mean, spring is coming. Possibilities are endless. So if you got questions, leave them down below. Let us know what you thought. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. We're going to be coming up with some new recipes, but uh, these ones are just going to go in the freezer for now. And uh, again, let us know what you guys thought. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, Tight lines from NB Edits.